Well, President Joe Biden announcing new federal regulations to get roughly 100 million more Americans vaccinated. The president saying the pandemic is lasting longer than expected and has a six-point plan to end it. Tonight, Republicans pushing back, saying the requirements are not legal. ABC 4's Jason Wynn breaks down the new federal regulations. The bottom line, we're going to protect vaccinated workers from unvaccinated co-workers. President Joe Biden says nearly 100 million Americans, a quarter of the country, are unvaccinated. But what makes it incredibly more frustrating is that we have the tools to combat COVID-19 and a distinct minority of Americans, supported by a distinct minority of elected officials, are keeping us from turning the corner. With new tools Thursday night, the president is requiring all federal workers and contractors to get a COVID-19 vaccine. Any company with more than 100 employees will also need to show proof of vaccination or have employees get tested once a week. In Utah, officials with workforce services say it affects more than 2,000 companies. If you want to work with the federal government and do business with us, get vaccinated. Those in the medical field who get Medicare or Medicaid funding also need to prove vaccination status. It was a little surprising to me personally. I don't think anybody was expecting such sweeping changes coming from the federal government. Officials with Intermountain Health Care and the University of Utah Health tells us 75 to 80 percent of their employees are vaccinated. But our message to them is you need to comply. Those who don't comply could face a federal fine of up to $14,000. Governor Spencer Cox agreeing with vaccination efforts, but tells us we have serious concerns about the legality of the order. Attorney General Sean Reyes says his team is reviewing the proposed regulations. COVID testing a big concern, and for the next three months, the president says Amazon, Smiths, and Walmart will sell kits at cost. More coronavirus tests will head to pharmacies, community centers, food banks, and school districts free of cost. All of this welcoming news to those on the COVID-19 front lines. Having uh, anything that can reduce the number of patients in the hospital is a good thing for all of us. President Biden says to expect more regulations involving the pandemic in the next couple of weeks. I'm Jason Wynn, ABC4 News. President Biden also announcing there will be larger penalties for people who do not comply with mask mandates on airlines. The president calling out the rise in unruly passengers on planes, saying the anger towards flight attendants doing their jobs is wrong. This comes just days after an unruly passenger was captured on video shouting at flight attendants on a Salt Lake City bound flight. Tonight, I'm announcing that the Transportation Safety Administration, the TSA, will double the fines on travelers that refuse to mask. If you break the rules, be prepared to pay. The mask mandate for interstate travel and on federal property will stay in place through January 18th of next year.